If you've been playing NCAA football for as long as I have, you know one thing's for sure, two things for certain. One, if not all, of the service academies eventually become powerhouses and their perennial top five teams in the nation. Now with that info, it poses this question. Is it possible for a service academy to win the SEC? And if so, how many seasons will it take? Today we'll answer that question and we're gonna assume as long as it takes. Will it happen? I'm not sure. But I definitely can't wait to find out. Now, another thing I can't wait to see is how my Pick'em roster does tonight. I would like to thank Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. Underdog Fantasy and their Pick'em game is the easiest way to get in on some fantasy action. Just pick higher or lower on your favorite and not so favorite player stats, and you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. Underdog keeps it simple with their easy to use website and mobile apps. Pick between two to five players to fill out your Pick'em roster, get every pick right, and take home some cold hard cash. Even if you're new to fantasy, with their slick mobile app and user-friendly website, you'll have no problem jumping in and drafting your squad. Use the code USRG or the first link in my description and you'll get your first deposit doubled up to $100 by Underdog Fantasy themselves. But now it's time to get back to the video and to see if it's possible for a service academy to win the SEC. All right, boys, here we are in season one and we are taking a look at the SEC, the new SEC with Texas and Oklahoma and all that jazz. But we got Army, Air Force, and Navy, 74 overall Navy, 75 overall Air Force, 74 overall Army. Like we already stated in the intro, is it possible for a service academy to win the SEC? Now, now they usually become perennial powers with Air Force to the Mountain West, Navy and the American, or the Independent, depending on how you do things, and Army and the Independent. Now, I'm wondering if them being in the SEC will help their overall recruiting, and I'm definitely, definitely anxious to see just how long this experiment is going to take. All right, boys, so first season is in the books. Let's take a look at our service academies here. Navy goes 3-9, and nine, Air Force goes 3-9, and nine, Army goes 3-9. and nine. Army goes 0-9 in the SEC, Air Force goes 1-8, and eight. Navy has the best record with 3-6. and six. Now, let's take a look at the type of games they're losing. They lost by 21 in UK. This is Navy. Blown out by LSU, blown out by South Carolina, uh, lost by touchdown to Georgia. Lost by two scores to Tennessee, blown out by Ohio State, blanked, blanked versus uh, Bama. South, uh, South Alabama beat them by two scores. Notre Dame beat them by a few scores. They beat Auburn 31-24, wow. And then they won the Army-Navy game 24-17. For Air Force, let's see, take a look at their losses mainly. Lost to Bama by a couple scores. Lost to Arkansas by a couple scores. You, uh, Kentucky by more than one score. They beat Tennessee. Beat Nevada, lost to Mississippi State by five, 21 by LSU, Arizona State beat them by three, Oklahoma beat them by 14, they lost by three scores to Miss to Ole Miss, and then Texas beat them 35-12, and let's take a look at Army here, they went 0-9 in the conference, so they only lost by seven to Mississippi State, Ole Miss beat them by three, got blown out by Auburn, they beat Western Kentucky, they lost to Bama by 10, Georgia beat them by 22. Kentucky beat them out by seven. They beat South Carolina, who's ranked. They beat Buffalo. They beat Kent State. Lost to Florida by 10. Lost to Navy by seven. So, for the most part, man, they're in these games versus these SEC opponents. So, it's not this is not undoable. And I feel like all the schools have had pretty decent recruiting classes. All right. So, Air Force gets a four-star, three three-stars, two two-stars, a one-star. Army gets one four-star, four three-stars. And in Navy, they get three four-stars and four three-stars. And that's just regular season recruiting. We still have to go through the offseason and things of that nature. All right, boys. So none of the teams are bowl eligible. And Alabama is going to win the SEC this season, beating Mississippi State 38-23. Time for season number two. All right, boys, here we are in season number two. Navy is down to a 72, 74, 73. Army's at a 74, 77, 71. And then Air Force is at a 74, 74, 76. Which one of these teams are going to take the leap this season in the SEC to at least be like middle of the road? I'm not necessarily saying being at the top of the totem pole, but at least middle of the road looking like they can compete with some of these other schools. All right, boys, here we are. End of season number two and... Navy wins the same amount of games, 2-7 and seven in conference. Army wins an extra game. They go 2-7 and seven in conference. Air Force loses an extra game. They go 2-10, 0-9 in the conference. Let's see if Air Force was in any of those games. Bama blew them out. Arkansas blew them out. Tennessee blew them out. Mizzou beat them by two scores. Um, I guess they were kind of in this Ole Miss game, but for the most part, the SEC was not kind to Air Force. That's why they went over. 
Army, let's take a look at them. They started the season the hot, being off Boston College, lost to Ole Miss by two scores, lost by a touchdown to Duke, lost, got blown out by Auburn, beat Western Kentucky again. Bama beat the hell out of them. They beat UGA. They're UGA's lone loss this season. Kentucky beat them by 10. They lost an OT to South Carolina. They beat Air Force. They lost to Florida by two scores, and they lost by 21 to Navy. Navy, they would start off the season one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lost. They start off the season 0 and 7. Then they beat Hawaii, lost again to Notre Dame, beat Texas, lost to Auburn, and beat Army. Army should be ashamed of themselves. All right, boys. So again, with none of the teams uh, bowl eligible, Mississippi State versus Georgia in the SEC Championship. Georgia got the job done, winning 38 31. All right, boys, here we are. Start of season three. What are the boys looking like? Air Force 77, 75, 78. Army 81, 81, 80. Leaps and bounds. Navy 77, 81, 75. So the teams are coming along for sure. All right, boys. So the best season to date for any one of our teams. Let's go ahead and take a look at the complete season and what happened. Um, did Army finally beat Navy? Because we've been we haven't beaten them yet. Army goes eight and four, finishes fourth in the uh, in the SEC, six and three in conference. So big season. B. Ole Miss lost to Miami of Ohio, ain't that some shit? B. Auburn lost to Bama. B. Georgia for the second season in a row. B. Kentucky got blown out by South Carolina. B. Air Force beat North Texas. B. Duke beat Florida. Lost to Navy once again, bro. As far as Air Force, they took a step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got a couple of SEC wins. They beat Alabama. Uh, they beat LSU and they beat Oklahoma, and then Navy regresses a lot. One and eleven, one and eight in conference. Their lone win was Army. So Army let a a non win school beat them to end the season. They should be ashamed of themselves. This season's SEC champion is going to be Texas. They beat Auburn 38-22. All right, guys. So the first bowl game for any of the service academies, Tax Slay the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. 8-4 Army taking on 7-5 and five NC State. All right, boys. So Army caps off the best season of the simulation. They win the Gator, they win the Gator Bowl 37-17 in dominant fashion. They are, they're going to end the season 9-4. Just taking a look at what our guys are able to do out here. Quarterback threw for 241, three touchdowns. I don't know what playbook they got going on, but I, I'm sure you were rocking out with the Army playbook. I will take it, bro. 12 catches, 229 yards for Williams. All right, boys. Season 4. Here we are. None of the service schools getting any love to be at top of the conference. Army 83, 79, 87 on defense. Air Force is at 79, 83, 78. Navy 79, 81, 78. Army is probably going to be the team that ends up getting it done. They're looking good. I mean, we got to see what that offense can do. Can we beat Bama and can we finally beat Navy? All right, boys. So Army regresses a bit. Six and six should still be enough for a bowl. Let's take a look at the rest of the conference. Did Army, did the Navy or Air Force do anything worth looking at? So, Army finishes top ten in the conference, six and six, four and five in the conference. Air Force goes six and six, so they're going to a bowl as well. Navy goes three and nine. Now, even with Army playing halfway decent, this is the fourth season in a row we have lost to Navy. No matter how bad they are, Army loses to Navy. Uh, Georgia finally got some get back on us. Bama continues to do what they want. We keep losing to Kentucky as well. We lost to Duke. We lost to Auburn. Uh, two wins back-to-back -back weeks in OT. Beat Florida again. So, you know what I'm saying? They're looking good. Now, let's take a look at Air Force's season this year. Lost back-to-back -back SEC games. Then beat Arkansas in OT. Beat Kentucky. I mean, excuse me. Beat Tennessee by three. Uh, beat Vandy. Got blown out by Mississippi State. Beat Georgia State, LSU. Beat them by nine. Won an OT versus Oklahoma, lost an OT to Miss to uh, Ole Miss, and then lost by four to Texas. Not gonna take a look at Navy's uh, schedule, man. They they just gotta get right. They gotta do better and uh, try to get try to come along and do what uh what Army and Air Force is doing out here, bro. All right, guys. So Texas beats Alabama in the SEC chip this year, 38-35. And when it came to the bowls, Army beat Iowa 31-24. Air Force got blown out by Tulsa. 42-10. All right, guys, start of season number five. Here we are. Army, 88-90-87. Navy is at 84-84-85. Air Force is at 86-88-83. So I definitely think all three schools are benefiting from being in the SEC. And I feel like now is the time that they come out here and get it done. Again, we are uh, we are only controlling Army. 
Army's uh, Army's playbook. You know what I'm saying? We're going off of their regular playbook, their regular philosophy. You know what I'm saying? And Navy and Air Force, of course, are are doing the same, being controlled by the computer. Uh, let's see if this is the season that the boys can truly eat. All right, boys. So the end of season number five. Let's take a look here. Army's going to finish number three in the SEC, second in the East on their side of the bracket, of the, of the conference, excuse me, in their division. And Navy still just cannot get out of their own way, three and nine, three and six. Take a look at the West side here. Air Force goes eight and four, five and four. And Army just misses out on the opportunity to play for the SEC chip. Remember, we're not here for natties. We're only here for the SEC championship. And they, they made the most of their opportunity here, 88 overall 90 offense 87 defense but uh I'm, I'm assuming they lost to bama again a team they have not been able to beat finally for the first time in five seasons beat navy they lost to florida and alabama those were the two losses florida being on the other side that loss wouldn't didn't matter as much but that loss to bama on uh september 29th definitely hurt that's a team we have yet to beat here as uh the army black knights but overall man look at the season dog shut out north texas beat Auburn, blew out uh, Ole Miss, blew out Oklahoma, blew out Hawaii, lost by 10 to Bama, beat Georgia once again, beat uh, Kentucky by nine, blew out South Carolina, San Jose State, lost by 14 to Florida, and then beat Navy by 14. I want to highlight Air Force's season as well, going eight and four, just five and four in the conference though. They blew out South Carolina, they beat Bama, uh, they beat Arkansas, beat Buffalo, beat Tennessee, beat Arkansas State. So they were really like living large, doing the damn thing. Then they lost to Mississippi State, beat LSU, beat Coastal. Then they lost three in a row, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, and Texas. All right, boys. So the SEC Championship this year, Texas did beat Florida 35-31. I don't know why I thought Alabama was in there, but I guess they lost the head-to-head -to, -head to, uh, to Texas. That really, really surprised me. And Texas made the most of that opportunity. Army loses their first bowl game of the season. They lose to number two, Wisconsin. 37-31, so it's not like the game was like completely out of hand or anything like that. Wisconsin was just slightly the better team. And Air Force loses yet another bowl game as well, but they got blown out 34-16 to Michigan State. All right, guys, so on paper, this is the most promising season yet. Season six for our military, our service academies. Army's coming to rank number 13 in the nation, 91, 91, 90. Absolutely insane. Air Force is at 84, 86, 82. Navy is still... You know what I mean? Middle of the road. They're down to a one-star prestige school, 86, 86, 85. We could pretty much X them out of the conversation for the most part, man. I feel like Army should be able to come out here and get it done. All right, boys. So I'm going to tell you straight from the home screen. Not only does Army have a chance to win the SEC this year, they have a real chance of winning a national championship. Here we are in season six, 11 and one, number three in the nation, taking on eight and four Texas in the SEC chip. Let's take a look at the rest of the conference and how things shaped out. So, of course, Army leads the way. They go a perfect 9-0 in conference. Very, very anxious to see who it is they lost to. And they lost late in the season, an upset to North Texas, which means they were probably number one in the nation at one point this year, man. And they took a heartbreaking loss, but then bounced back and beat Florida, beat Navy for consecutive years. And take a look at their season, man. Their only really close game besides the one they lost was a uh, Bama, which they had to win in OT. Finally got over that Bama hump for the second year in a row. Well, not finally if they did it last year, but y'all know what the hell I'm talking about, man. And um, take a look at Air Force, 75, 5, and 4. Navy, 75, 5, 4, and 5. So all of our service academies become bowl eligible but this is the moment we've been waiting for boys and as an army veteran this is who i was hoping will go ahead and have the true chance to win the sec out of all the schools all right boys so in this sim man i have no clue if i want to play at all you know what i'm saying i feel like i want to come and get a taste of this man but i don't want to you know what i'm saying i don't want to affect too much so i'm just going to do the opening kickoff man this is a big deal like I said, man, I'm an Army veteran. I would love to see him do something like this in real life. Little with a decent return. Let's get into this Super Sim and see what we can do. Boys, let's go quarter by quarter. Next quarter here, Army with the Rock first. They're going to go down and get three, and then immediately get scored on, and they're going to go up three. And now they get the Rock back. They score a touchdown. Uh, Texas is driving, going into the second quarter, change of possession. Army forces a punt. Let's go to the next quarter now. Army driving. They're stuffed. They get a stop. They score another touchdown. Finally, Texas goes down and scores. Army gets Get seven more before OT, but then they give up seven more before OT. No, they give up three. Excuse me. So, okay, not bad, not bad. Second half, here we go. 
Let's see who's going to do what. Texas scores and ties up the game. Army is driving. They're stopped. They get a stop. Army on defense again. And we're going into the fourth quarter, 24 all. Let's go to the end of the game. Can Army punch it in before Texas? Oh, man. Down seven late. Texas scores late. Army scores late. OT and Army gets the job done in exhilarating fashion. Who would have thought triple option army would win an absolute thriller 45 to 38 winning the sec championship man let's take a look at the score summary bro uh so 10 7 army 14 10 army they got blinked in the third losing seven nothing tied 14 14 in the fourth and then they score in ot and get the stop to get the dub here in texas who won the sec championship last year unable to get the job done like, like I said, man, we we are on uh, Army's playbook, but in Sim, they are passing the rock. I guess Jermaine Wynn does what he wants here in his rest senior year. 17 for 28, 283 yards, four touchdowns, two picks on the ground. It was a spread out attack. Cole is the one who got the lone touchdown. Paul Burke, senior, got uh, seven for 116 the touchdown. Eric Baker, four for 105, three touchdowns and one drop. So the four times he touched the ball, he scored three of them. You know what I'm saying? And then Will Young also got a score. Uh, nine pancakes by Jerry Payne. Defensively, Edmund Smith led the team in tackles. Seven uh, solo. Any sacks out there today? today? No. Nope. Any picks out there today? No. Nope. And the cool thing about this being in season six, these are recruits that Army was actually able to recruit themselves. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's the best thing about simming to see how these teams, you know what I mean, form and, and become, you know, form and shape and become some of the top teams in the nation. So you see here, congratulations. Army has won the SEC chip. Not going to add it because this is just a sim. I did not earn that whatsoever. But now I'm anxious to see, boys. Will Army get a chance to play for the uh, national championship? I'm probably going to do the uh, college football playoff to keep it real with you. Um, just to see if they can get the job done because it doesn't look like anybody in front of them is playing in the conference championship game. Even though Wisconsin does get upset. Let me see. So the number one team and number two team in the nation are not playing for conference championships. That seems like uh, smooth selling. They must be group of five schools. USC. Oh, so Army is at number two in the college football playoff ranking. So that is actually all that matters. So nine and four Wisconsin was in the mix before they lost it in that game. Crazy. Absolutely. Absolute madness, bro. All right, man. Army also had a Heisman finalist. Their running back, Cole, finishes second to Clemson's quarterback. And and also, E. Smith is going to win the uh, Buckus Award. Okay. And then uh, Navy's coach, new coach. I had to create a coach to take over Army. You know what I'm saying? They are going to uh, win coach of the year. And let me go ahead and show you what we're doing. So I don't have to do college football playoff because we're in the natty going up against USC. Let me just show you guys. I know... Y'all don't think I'm lying or anything, but this is crazy how much they pass the ball. Because as you can see, I went with Army's regular philosophy and how they do things. And in Sim, they still coming out here and doing crazy stuff. Now, let's jump into this, this national championship because this will be a bonus if they can win a Natty the same year they finally win the SEC. All right, boys, here we go. Natty time. For those of you who, who aren't new to my channel, I did win back-to-back -back national championships with army myself controlling them so this is definitely dope to see man number one versus number two caesar's superdome here in new Orleans, baby let's get it all right boys let's see what army can do here in this ball game man so it's pretty pretty back and forth army is going to strike first the defense has been top notch throughout uh, a lot of this sim that is what they built first in in recruiting as they hold them to three they're going to go down and get three more of their own they finally give up six to usc Going into the locker room down. USC looks like they're going to start running away with this. Army is going to have to score. They're down 21, and their offense is just not enough for number one USC. They're going to run away with this one 45-24, 48-24, and that is going to do it as the clock hits triple zeros. Um, definitely, definitely tough, right? I mean, we, 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 we did what we set out to do. A service school won the SEC. But to get this close to the natty, you know what I'm saying, to have 541 yards and only get 24 points out of it, um, four turnovers, you're never going to win. Three picks, one fumble loss, you know, and another team that played flawlessly, that is the ball game right there, and that is where Army messed up. But 
What a season. Completely overachieved. They came into this. Well, not really. They came into the season ranked number 13 in the nation, but I knew this was more than likely going to be the year. All right, boys. Army's going to end the season number five in the nation. And the question of the video was, is it possible for a service academy to win the SEC? Army answered that question right in front of you guys, and they were able to get the job done in dominating fashion. They did get dominated in the national championship, but they dominated their way through the SEC. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this one, man. I feel like this will be a nice, fun experiment in sim, and it actually ended up being pretty dope, and honestly, they won the conference championship way quicker than I expected. But like we, but like I said in the intro, man, if there's one thing for sure, two things for certain, one of these service academies ends up being an absolute powerhouse, man. Army was that team that stepped up to the challenge and they got it done in season six. Hopefully you enjoyed, man. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey. Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the fuck out your feelings. Drop my son off to school in the morning. After that, I headed straight to the bank.